good morning in the design of transmission system subject unit 1 the design of flat bell drive a problem is to be solved in this lecture a flat bell drive is to be designed to drive a floor mill so the driving power requirement is a floor mill a floor mill a driving power requirement of the mill is 22.5 kW at 750 rpm with a speed reduction of 3.0 the distance between the shafts is 3 meter diameter of the mill pulley is 1.2 meter design and make a neat sketch of the drive as there is a speed reduction so it is 750 rpm n1 is 750 rpm n2 uh, 250 rpm so uh, speed decreases so it is a smaller pulley and it is a larger pulley from smaller pulley to larger pulley from smaller pulley to larger pulley Uh, speed uh, decreases if uh, from a larger pulley to smaller pulley speed increases if the power is transmitted from larger pulley to smaller pulley speed will increase but here is here there is a speed reduction of 3.0 so n1 is 750 rpm n1 is 750 rpm and n2 250 rpm because speed reduction of 3 So 750 by 3, uh, n2 equal to 250 rpm, and the diameter of the larger pulley, the driven is a larger pulley. Diameter of the larger pulley is capital D. Let us take it as capital D, uh, 1.2 meter. It is a given data, 1.2 meter, and the distance between the pulleys is given as the distance between the shafts is driving shaft and driven shafts is given as uh, 3 meter. So it is given by the symbol C, and we have to calculate the small d. A small d, small d value we have to find. So n1 is 750 rpm and n2 250 rpm, and the diameter of larger pulley is 1.2 meter, and the distance between the shafts is 3 meter. And we have to design the drive, design the flat bell drive. We can we will consider this as a open bell drive. In the open bell drive, we first we have to design length of bell drive. Step one, length of belt. Length of belt is Uh, given by the formula from the design data book page number 7.53 l equal to uh, 2. Point l equal to 2c from the data book you can see 7.52 flat belt 7.53 uh, for open belt drive l equal to 2c plus 5 by 2 into d plus d plus d minus d the whole square by 4c okay so l equal to uh, 2c And we know the value C as three. C equal three. Capital D is one point two meter. Small d you have to find. Okay, capital small d can be determined. <coughs> so in the open bell drive formula, so in the calculation of uh, you have to calculate the length length of open bell drive. L equal to two C plus pi by two into D plus D plus D minus D the whole square by four C. Okay, here. 2c plus 5 by 2 into d plus d into d minus d the whole square by 4c c 3 meter d 1.2 meter d have to find okay a small d you have to find so this uh, this n1 is n1 is 750 rpm small n1 is 750 rpm n2 250 rpm and c 1 3 meter okay the capital d 1.2 meter you have to find small d okay the driver pulley and driven pulley A driver pulley is rotating. It is having the rotational uh, rotational speed, but the belt is running over the pulleys. As a, a man is running over the road, or a vehicle is a car is running over the road, it has some velocity v in meter per second. It is uh, meter per second, or it is in kilometer per hour. So it has some velocity. So velocity is given by the velocity of v one. V one is Velocity of belt running over the driver pulley, and V2 velocity of belt running over the driven pulley. These two velocities are same. V1 is equal to V2. So V1 is given by the formula pi d pi d1 n1 by 60 equal to pi d2 n2 by 60. Here we have taken a small d and we have taken this as capital D. So pi by 60 get cancelled. D n1 equal to d n2. N1 by n2 equal to capital D by small d. We know that n1 is 750 rpm and n2 250 rpm. And capital D 1.2 meter and small d, so d equal to 0.4 meter, which is equal to 400 mm. 
so small d have been determined which is 0.4 meter and 400 mm this can be used to calculate the length of bell drive so length of bell drive l equal to 2c plus pi by 2 into d plus d d minus d the whole square by 4c c equal to 3 pi by 2 into d 1.2 and small d 0.4 d 1.2 small d 0.4 divided by 4 into 3 is equal to 8.566 meter so this is the first step length of open bell drive have been calculated Second step is design power calculation. So this formula is not available in data book. You have to keep it in your memory. But you can calculate the load correction factor and arc of conduct from the design data book. Design power equal to rated power. Rated power is nothing but the given data. The 22.5. This is called as a rated power. A rated power into a rated power into load correction factor divided by arc of conduct factor. The load correction load correction factor is given in page number 7.53 load correction factor so design power equal to design power equal to rated power into load correction factor divided by arc of contact factor load correction factor let us calculate load correction factor load correction factor for shock loads because it is a floor mill application it is a mill it is subjected to shock loads the load correction factor is 1.5 and arc of contact factor so you have to calculate the arc of contact 180 minus d minus d by c into 60 degree so 180 uh, d is 1.2 meter minus small d 0.4 meter divided by c 3 meter into 60 degree which is equal to uh, 170 degree it is approximately calculated and this value is equal to 164 degree which is approximately equal to 170 degree so the arc of contact factor equal to corresponding to 170 degree it is 1.04 so design power equal to the formula is design power equal to rated power which is 22.5 kilowatt given data into load correction factor divided by arc of contact factor load correction factor is 1.5 load correction factor is 1.5 load correction factor is 1.5 and arc of contact factor corresponding to 170 degrees 1.04 so the design power is uh, calculated as so uh, arc of contact design uh, design power equal 22.5 into 1.5 divided by 1.04 which is equal to 32.45 kilowatt so design power calculation is a second step third step is selection of belt okay selection of belt for heavy duty applications let us select dunlop 449 gram fabric belt from page number 7. Point uh, 5.3 7.52 7 it is an heavy duty application because it is a mill floor mill and it is having medium belt speeds so let us select Dunlop for 949 gram fabric belting for light duty you can select this first type because it is a second type you can select Dunlop for 949 gram fabric belting this is a second third step Dunlop for 949 gram fabric belt this is a third step then four steps you have to determine the number of plies in belt so number of plies represents the number of layers in the belt drive the belt is not made up of a single material it is made up of different layer by layer like plywood it is made up of different layers so that layer is called as a number of plies you have to find the number of plies so number of plies can be determined from the data book page number 7.52 that is minimum pulley diameter minimum pulley diameter is a smaller pulley diameter smaller pulley diameter is given as we have calculated this value as 0.4 meter which is equal to 400 mm okay and we have to calculate the belt speed belt speed can be calculated using the formula v equal to pi d1 n1 by 60 v1 v1 equal to pi d n by uh, 60 so belt speed v equal to pi d n1 by 60 pi into d is 0.4 and n1 is 750 divided by 60 which is equal to 15.7 meter per second and uh, from the, the table uh, corresponding to 15 uh, let us take it as 15 nearer to 15.7 is 15 so 15 and the um, minimum pulley diameter smaller pulley diameter is 400 uh, you can select this um, 500 or 315 so as 315 is nearer to 400 let us choose uh, 315 minimum pulley diameter smaller pulley diameter is 400 315 and 15 the number of places taken as 6 or you can choose uh, number of places 8 nothing problem so you can choose 6 or 8 so
so this is a number of lies in bell drive so number of lies equal to 6 so this is a step 4 the step 5 calculation of belt width so belt width can be calculated using from the design data book so calculate the belt width you need to calculate a load rating ok page number 7.54 you have to calculate the load rating so load rating once load rating at v meter per second have been calculated belt width can be calculated load rating at v meter per second equal to load rating at 10 meter per second into v by 10 so load rating at 10 meter per second equal to so this uh, above uh, gives the load rating at 10 meter per second belt width uh, for, for 4 949 gram duct belting 0.0289 kilowatt ok load rating at 10 meter per second is 0.0289 into v v we have calculated v1 equal to pi d n by 16 which is equal to 15.7 so 0.0289 into 15.7 divided by 10 which is a load rating at v meter per second so load rating at v meter per second equal to load rating at 10 meter per second into v by 10 this value is 0.0289 into 15.7 divided by 10 which is 0.0454 kilowatt per mm ply so load rating have been calculated next we have to calculate belt width belt width is calculated using the formula not available in data book but partially it is given um, this is mm plus of belt it is not the that is belt width equal to corrected load corrected load is the design power we have calculated as 43.45 so corrected load divided by load rating per mm ply at belt width in the number of plies ok this is not the formula to calculate with the belt but the formula is partially available in this uh, formula um, with the belt equal to corrected load corrected load is a design power divided by load rating at v meter per second ok load rating at belt speed is load rating at v meter per second into number of plies equal to belt width ok design power divided by load rating per, per mm ply at belt speed into number of plies so design power is 32.45 divided by so, um, load rating at v meter per second is 0 0.0454 this value 0454 into 6 number of plus 6 that is equal to 119.12 mm ok uh, from the data book page number 7.55 from the recommended series of width of flat pull, pulley standard width of belt not pulley standard width of belt equal to from the data book 7. Point standard width of belt is here it is coming as 119 so next highest value is 125 so the belt width is 125 belt width is taken as 125 standard width of pulley is 125 mm then design of cast iron pulley you have to design the cast iron pulley uh, so the pulley width should be greater than the belt width by 13 mm it is also from the data book page number 7.54 pulleys to be wider than the belt width by 13 mm for uh, belt width up to 125 mm here we have taken the belt width as 125 mm so it is 125 plus 13 which is equal to 138 mm pulleys are wider than the belt ok so to hold the belt pulleys are wider than 13 mm from the belt width so 125 plus 13 138 mm so width of pulley is 138 mm ok next we have to calculate all other details the number of from the page number 7.55 you have to calculate the number of arms of the pulleys so number of arms of the pulleys equal to number of arms equal to 4 for the driver pulley number of arms equal to 4 for the driver pulley up to the diameter so the smaller pulley diameter is 400 mm number of arms equal to 4 and 6 for driven pulley because the diameter is uh, 1.2 meter 6 for over diameter is over 450 mm so equal to 6 cross section of the arms is elliptical cross section of the arm is elliptical thickness of arm near bars thickness of arm near bars so you have to calculate all other terms thickness of arm near bars it is called as a bars section it is called the rim section thickness of arm near bars is 2.94 into a a is a pulley width 138 into D 1.2 meter divided by 4 into 6 thickness of arm near rim is this value and thickness of arm near rim is 2 by 3 into thickness of arm 
and radius of cross section of arms is 3 by 4 L and minimal